Welcome to EFTM and you're in a YouTube rabbit hole either about Lego or technology or retro technology. I don't know, but what it is, is a combination in this. The Lego Nintendo Entertainment System. Let's build it. If you want to see more of these kind of videos and gadgets and tech and lifestyle and cars, click subscribe, ring the bell. We'll bring you all the notifications when we upload a new video right here at EFTM. That is a lot of bags. I may have already bitten off more than I can chew. Wow. There's the same no oh, this is the biggest manual manuals. I've ever seen. I may not have allocated enough time for this. So just at a glance here, I think we've got low bag numbers and high bag numbers. So it's, it's time to sort them. And I don't know if you've done a big Lego set like this before, but it's really important that you do it strategically. Do not open every bag. Uh, the instructions in these ones are good enough that we can just open the bags as we go. So um, let's have a look at them all, but then let's separate them out and just get the first couple of bags out. Keep your eye out for these kind of extra pieces as well, which, well, that's going to be the cable for the controller. And that's going to play some role in what I believe is a moving parts in this one. Bag number one located. Now the highest number I found was 21, but there's way more than 21 bags here. Uh, 26, 26 bags plus a few bits um, but 21 odd main steps in the build so it looks like the book uh, separates them out very clearly into the console and the TV which is pretty cool so uh, I mean it's just such an epic looking build I really can't wait to have a crack Bag number one, the console. Let's do the console first. Now I thought for interest sake we might try, try and keep track of how long this actually takes. Thus, this timer here. So, well, let's do this. We do actually need that plate to kick us off. I'm gonna need my glasses. And luckily I've got the TV. Count of the bags, but there's always bags within bags, folks. Pro tip, before you put your, I always have a box. Keep one of the boxes for all the soft plastic, because um, that could be recycled separately, but always check the bags before you put them down, because all those little pieces, they like to get lost. I am not a major NOLA, but I do like to separate out broadly the pieces. So all your little, all these little interconnectors here, I'll keep all those separate broadly so that we can see where they are. I like to actually look through the sets to see what it is that we're dealing with. So you can kind of visually identify things. All the little pieces, keep them over there. And this bag was a separate bag. And again, just bring out those couple of colours and the obvious pieces. Because you know, despite the fact that they're sitting right in front of you, you know you're not going to be able to find some of them. Whew. 
Okay, what have we got there? 13 minutes, one bag. Um, not bad. And uh, it's one of those moments, and you know, if you haven't built a lot of Lego, you won't realize this, but you kind of don't really get much from the early parts of the build. It's not until you start to really build up the, the item that you realize what it is and how it's going to work and how cool it's going to look. But anyway, we've got a bunch done. Let's uh, power on with bag number two. One of the fun things about opening these bags sometimes is pieces you've never seen before, like this. What's this, a uh, 5x5 five five flat? I mean, I've just never seen that piece before. But it's um, clearly going to form a part in this. There's a uh, very strange looking piece in the middle of this. I don't at all understand why, but um, we'll get to it. But it's a very different piece. So it's fun sometimes looking through these fi and finding Bits you've never seen before, bits that might have been made specifically for this set, bits that have been reused, like these are clearly uh, flat, slick tyres, but how are they being used? We'll find out. One of the other little things I do is I normally take a quick look at the page, and if there's more than a couple of pieces in the top corner, you know, telling you what pieces are being used on this page. I like to gather them, either put them on the page here or in my hand, so that you just know you can get through that step in one easy go. That is the end of uh, book, or bag two. Um, 27 minutes, about the same amount of time for each bag, which is interesting already because I've never timed it before, to be honest. I've made a lot of Lego, big kits over the years, but I've never timed it before. Now, this is quite cool because there's this spring loaded portion in here, which is obviously going to have something to do with the, I don't know, loading the game or something. But I like it. There's some really nice, intricate pieces in here. Um, but yeah, at this point, doesn't, if you grab this, you wouldn't absolutely know what it was at all. So, we're probably a bit of a way off uh, seeing the entertainment system itself. But uh, we'll crack on and see where we get to. All right, it's time for uh, bag number four, and we are starting to take some shape. So right now we can see the power and reset buttons, and also this very nifty um, area to attach controls. I mean, you just don't see this stuff coming until you see it, and then I can't wait to now get the controllers and actually, because they'll plug in and unplug from there really, really well. And now you obviously you can see this is the, the game load. Um, Really cool getting there. Um, you can see this dark grey component. We'll now probably add the, the, we'll finish off the dark grey and then a bag ahead or so will hit the light grey. So I'm going to skip forward now and um, keep building during the day. See if we can get a complete console soon. All right, last bags, number seven of the console itself. So 
So I reckon we might get there in two hours. It's already looking really special. <clears throat> so there's your front. So power reset, light, connectors, uh, audio and video, RCAs. Um, that's really cool. So yeah, that's it's very cool. All right, let's do this. So this is making the rest of the lid and a games cartridge by the looks of it. Well, I hear that. The uh, stickers were in the uh, plastic bag for the books. That's why you never throw anything out until you finish the build. Mario, Super Mario Brothers. Very cool. <laughs> That's so cool. There we go. Cartridge, controller, console. Absolutely love it. Cartridge. This fits in as well. Look at that. That is too cool. Cartridge, console, controller. All right, another day. The console took two hours, 10 minutes, um, and the iPad died. So I've recharged the iPad, I've recharged my, my own batteries, and we are ready to look at what is essentially, I mean, you could see it as book two, really, couldn't you? because um, that's what it is, but it's also a hell of a lot of bags. So we're going to do the TV now. We're going to find the bags that matter for that. So here's the fun thing about this kind of kit. What are we, 10 minutes in a bag there, which is actually appearing to be like the average, 10 minutes per bag. Um, this is the thing, like, what is this? This kind of doesn't make any sense right now. But we're looking for a TV, right? So I figure we're building the TV from the bottom up, and this looks like it could be the back of the TV, and that could be like where you plug an antenna in, or something like that. Um, so yeah, I feel like the first, there's like 10, 12 bags to get through here. The first five or six could be very much mechanical because there is a mechanical component to this which I don't yet fully understand. So we'll get started on the next one. Another case of those parts you've never seen before. I've never seen anything like that before. Like a two by four, very strange. Anyway, see what it does.
really cool mechanics in there. I just love the way LEGO does mechanics and you don't see it coming together. It's so nice. All right, so the 10 minute thing out the window because there we have no more really obvious what it is, although you can see now the back of the TV, you know, like an old CRT. Um, and we've got this great winding mechanism going on here. So, whew, bag number 11. All right, a lot of width on that now. We can see how big it's going to be. We just can't see how tall it's going to be, but I imagine it's going to be like this tall. Um, there is a couple of things that I'm just not happy with that I feel like that were missed on the back, but I'll look at those as they happen. I think it's meant to look like air vents, but we shall see as we move into bag number 12. That was a 10 minute bag. This looks like just a lot of blocks, so it should be a 10 minute as well. All right, just under an hour, what are we, four, nine, 10, 11, 12, and four and a bit bags in. And we have ourselves the decent rear shell of the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System TV unit. Bit of compression to do there. Um, look, you can kind of see what it is now. We can see the size. As I say, that's the back. There we've also got to put a housing over there. And then there'll be a mechanism in here somehow, some way for what will be the screen. So a fair bit of work to go. A um, little bit of mechanics in there, and the antenna which clips away on itself, which is just, again, it's the simple things, but having the clip there, as well as the movable antenna, just, that's just beautiful, pure genius. Alright, time for lunch, and then uh, see what else we can get done. Number 13. <clears throat> oh my god, this could have been made easier, thank you. I think these are some sort of track, <laughs> but I'm going to clip them all together, piece by piece. 32 by 30, okay, let's count out loud, great. It's been one of the best experiences of my life. We didn't think anyone would be into watching a show Six, about our crazy family. Seven, eight, I just wanted to tell you Right, so now these need to be attached to each other. Whew. By another repetitive process, I've got to make 15 what look like connector joints. Yep. Fifteen are the same thing. That's the easy. Love when those ones. Once you know the number and you know what they are. Okay, so it's two of these together. So here's the thing, I really don't know what this piece is. It's the fascinating part of this is just not understanding in any way. Although what I'm starting to think is that this is the screen. So the screen loops around and so this is the bit you see and then it turns and that's how you get the Mario character movement. So it's just dawned on me that what we're building here 
is the flat of the screen that curves around all the way around itself so that it can loop back and um, be twisted and turned. I don't know. I don't know how. Okay, so this is about as um, painful and slow as doing the Lego art. So if you've seen the Star Wars or the Beatles stuff, um, I've done one of those and it's awesome. It's like a paint by numbers thing. It's just all one by one blocks and this is a lot of one by one blocks. <laughs> so there's a bit to do here. And they have to be so, so that they can twist and bend because this is going to be the screen. Wow, there it is. The screen, so look at that. So that's how you get the movement of the computer game. So good, really so good. All right, so this goes in here now. That's what turns it. Ah, too good! Too good! This is awesome. So now, and look, it, it won't actually turn backwards either. There's a stopper in there I noticed when I built it. So it only turns one way. Very cool. Whew. Unfortunately, I've got to go pick up the kids, so... Nah, we'll try and get the frame done. <laughs> uh, Gotta go and pick up the kids. Wasn't meant to put this on the front yet, but how good does that look? Wow. So you can see how it moves along. I've broken the handle already. Look at that. Looks amazing. All right, so we've got a roof to build, or top to build, some handles, some dials, and some speaker sets over here. We'll put that down, and we'll finish it off tomorrow. So good. All right, we are 
back for the final bag. Bag number 21. This is actually quite fun. I think the reason it's most exciting is because I actually hadn't seen this set before I saw it online at the Gamesman. I was just buying some, what was I buying? PS5 accessories or something? And um, I saw this and I went, oh, well, gotta have that. And I, I've never seen it in the flesh working or anything, so yeah, really cool. So, this piece here looked just silly. It's just a cog with a blue stopper on it, and it goes through a, a straight hole, and you're like, oh, what the hell's that? And why is it, it's caught on this green little, little pokey stick that they've done. And then you realize, it's so that when it turns, it makes this sound, and that's the sound of it clicking on that green flexible tab. That's the sound of a TV doll. That's so good. I love it. So I feel like we are finished with the TV and now we're about to build the stand, I assume. Ah, it's upside down. Oh gosh. So it's just, all oh, right. So the couple of pieces that we put in, let it hang over the edge. And that, wow. That's crazy. I've always wondered how they decide which extra bits to put in because that's all very random. Those are very random pieces to have extras of. So, in a time of 2.25, so eh, what's that? Four and a half hours. It's all done. All right, so we go from this to this, and I utterly love it. The fact this opens, and then there's a cartridge, and that the controller connects, and the detail on the, on the console from the buttons to the actual controller alone would have been a great set, <laughs> let's be honest. But then there's this, and I just, again, it's beautiful. I mean, the detail here from connectors, antenna, um, power, um, the dials, the knobs, the switches. This here has to be one of the favorites. That's just brilliant. But then of course, there's this. Look at that. That's amazing. Just so good. I just can't believe it. I really can't believe how cool it is. Um, I've got a lot of Lego sets, uh, a lot of the cities, I've got a lot of cars. Um, this may be my new favourite, almost without question. It's just such great detail. And I've never timed myself doing a Lego build before. So I would argue not the most complex, probably the Ferrari F40 was the most complex I've built. It was just a really intricate build in part. This, very cool, very cool. I bought this at the Gamesman, 350 bucks. Where better to spend money on Lego that's a gaming kit than at the Gamesman? Um, and I love it, it's fantastic. <sighs> now to do some real work. <laughs>